Good morning and welcome to Rational Thinking. My name is Joshua and today we'll be covering the latest from the Brexit negotiations along with the US interest rate cut. So to start off with the pound, the pound had a very, very mixed week. Uh, initially started by rumours of the DUP looking to concede on their Irish backstop um, proposals. But at the same time, we've had a lot of criticism, especially from the Luxembourg Prime Minister, that British counterparts had failed to put forward a reasonable alternative to the backstop itself. Um, quite positively, however, we had Junkner come out and say he would be open to taking the backstop out completely, but first needs a, a reasonable and appropriate substitute, which Boris Johnson and his team have now put forward, uh, and we're waiting to hear the response back on. Um, in addition, we also had the NPC minutes on Thursday last week. Again, very similar, uh, reiterated things that we already knew. Um, Mark Carney uh, went on to say that, you know, should we have a disorderly no-deal Brexit, we would be in a position to be cutting interest rates. Um, but obviously the other side of the coin is that if we were to have a transitional Brexit with a, with a strong deal that favoured both the UK and Europe, uh, we could be in a position where we're looking at raising interest rates. So moving on to the US dollar, uh, we have the interest rate cut by the Federal Reserve. Chairman Jerome Powell cut the interest rate by 25 basis points. However, that was received by criticism from President Donald Trump, who said the Federal Reserve were cutting interest rates too slowly uh, and not by a big enough margin. Previous uh, FOMC meetings uh, indicated more than one interest rate cut for, for the year of 2019. However, the dot plots um, as of the last or latest uh, FOMC uh, meeting indicated no further cuts for the rest of this year, much to the annoyance of President Donald Trump. So looking ahead to this week, we've got a very light week in terms of data generally. Uh, we've got Mario Draghi and Mark Carney speaking uh, at the same event later on this week, uh, with more of a focus being on US dollar data. We've got core quadruple goods orders, the crude oil inventories and the GDP month-on-month uh, -month figure all expected later on this week. Inevitably, however, there will be some fallout. There will be a headline uh, around Brexit, so please do keep, keep your eyes open for that because that's really what's going to be driving the pound at the moment. And that's all from me. As always, thank you for joining us and please do like and share the video. If you have any questions or queries or any currency requirements that you need help with, please feel free to reach out to us on the email address provided. Thank you.